Hey everyone, welcome back to another spot color separation tutorial. Today we are working with this spot color vector artwork created in Adobe Illustrator featuring five colors white, yellow, red, light gray, and dark gray. Our t shirt color is black. You learn to separate these colors in Photoshop and add a white underbase for printing on a black t shirt. Let's get started. First, let's set up our document. Open the illustrator.aa file in Photoshop. In the import PDF settings, set your desired print size. I'll set a width of 10 inches. Uncheck the anti aliased option. This ensures that selections made with tools like magic wand will be crisp and accurate, which is important for precise color separations. Set the resolution to 600 or higher for high quality flame output. Choose the RGB color mode and click OK to import the PDF. This artwork is from freepick.com. You can download it from the link in the description to follow along. I'll be using Masterceps Pro version to speed up some tasks. However, you can use any version, even the free light version. Grab your free copy if you haven't already. Let's start. First, let's rename the layer 1 to artwork using this action, rename layer to artwork. Next, select the magic wand tool. The magic wand tools options. Make sure to turn off contiguous and anti alias and set the tolerance to 10. This setting will make it easy to select colors using the magic wand tool. Let's remove the background color. Click on the background color anywhere to make a selection and hit the delete key to delete the background color. Next click on the deselect selection action or use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus D, Command plus D on Mac to deselect. I'll zoom in to take a closer look at the artwork. I can see some black areas in the artwork. Instead of using black ink, let's make these areas the t-shirt color. Click on the black color to select all black areas and hit delete. Deselect the selection again. Now the t-shirt color will show through. I'll zoom out. Let's create a t-shirt color layer using this action. Create t-shirt color layer. Change the color to black. And move it to the back. Currently the artwork is the same size as the canvas. Let's increase the canvas size a bit using this action. Increase canvas size. Hit OK with the default value. Great. We are all set to do color separation now. Before we start, let's take a backup of the artwork layer, duplicate it and move it to the back. I'll rename this layer to backup artwork layer. We will use this layer when we create the white underbase. Okay. To color separate, first select the artwork layer in the layers panel. Next using the magic wand tool, click on a color. Let's separate in the order lightest color to the darkest color. White is the lightest color. Click on white to select all the white areas. Next right click and select layer via cut. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift J, Command Shift J on Mac. We now have the white color in a separate layer. You can rename the layers as you go or after you have separated all the colors. Let's rename at the end. I'll hide this layer. Now repeat the same steps to separate the other colors. Next light color is yellow. Make sure to select the artwork layer in the layers panel. I'll zoom in a bit and click on yellow. Right click and select layer via cut. Similarly separate all the other colors. The artwork layer is empty. We can delete it now. Let's rename the layers. Next, arrange them from lightest to darkest. Great. The color separation part is done. Now we need to create a white underbase and choke it to avoid white peeking out in the print. Since white is also a print color, we can use it as the white underbase. Hold the Ctrl or Command key and click on the thumbnail of the backup artwork layer to select the entire artwork. To contract the white underbase, run the contact pixels action. Set the number of pixels to 
contract the weight under base. You will need to experiment with this value to find out what works best for your printing equipment. 2 is a good starting point. I'll set 2 pixels and hit OK. I'll zoom in. Now we have contracted a selection by 2 pixels. I'll zoom out. Select the white layer and fill the selection with 100% edge white using the fill with white 100% edge action. Finally, deselect the selection. Great, we have a choked white underbase. Let's quickly compare the preview of the original artwork and the current separated layers. Run this first separation preview action to create a new side by side comparison. On the left document, make the backup artwork layer alone visible along with the t-shirt color. On the right document, turn on the separated colors one by one. First, the chocolate white underbase, next yellow, then red, next light gray, and finally dark gray. A total of five colors. The preview looks good. So after checking the preview, we can close the new document. I'll zoom in and rearrange the layers. Next step is to convert all the colors to black for film positives. To convert a color to black, first make a selection of the color layer and fill it with black. For example, to convert the white underbase to black, select it in the layers panel and hide all the layers. Hold down Ctrl, Command on Mac and click on the thumbnail of the white layer to make a selection. Next fill the selection with 100% edge black using the fill with black 100% edge action. Make sure to deselect the current selection. Similarly, convert all the other colors to black. The next step is to add registration marks. You can add registration marks and print directly from Photoshop, save as PDFs to share with others or import this PDF file into Illustrator and print from there. I have given a tutorial link in the description on how to add registration marks manually and save as PDFs for sharing. Masterceps Lite version users, please refer to it. Masterceps Starter and Pro version users can easily add registration marks using the registration marks actions. My film size is 13 by 19. So I'm going to use the custom canvas size top and bottom registration action to quickly add registration marks. Use the action you need for your setup. Refer to the registration marks tutorial if you need help. You can now add text layers to label the colors and print them out. If you're not sure how to do those steps, I have given tutorial links in the description. Please check them out. And there you have it. Easy spot color separation with a white underbase in Photoshop. With these steps, your screen prints will look vibrant and professional. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more screen printing tips and tricks. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching and happy printing.